whenever I know. like the worms and stuff they take like old food no. and they like yeah. take it and they make it into dirt. Okay. When I say the word compost, what do you think of? Recycling. Tell me what composting is. Um, oh lord. <laughs> it's like um, when you get like trash and you, it just sits there and it, after a while it just starts, you know, turning into compost. If we said compost, what would you tell me about composting? Um, wow. I don't know what compost is. You're not sure? No. What, what is something that's decomposed? What's happening? Like something that's died and, you know, is starting to like wear away. Turning okay. Turning into like nutrients. Okay, turning into nutrients. What is composting? Um, when you have decomposed items and you mix it together to make, uh, like, nutrients. Okay, today we're going to actually be uh, mowing my lawn for the last time this season. And we're going to be adding the clippings to a compost bin that I started earlier this season. And that compost bin is essentially a way to recycle the materials from our grass and to actually get it, uh, get it into a renewing cycle so I can use it again next season in the spring. So we're going to start off today. We're actually going to use my weed eater today. And the weed eater, I'm not going to worry about um, catching all the clippings from it. But what I am going to do is capture all the clippings in my bag here on my lawnmower. And we're going to dump them in my co uh, compost bin. And so let's go take a look at that real quick and let's see what it, what's going on with it. Okay, so this is my compost pile and essentially what it is, it's just a bunch of dead leaves and grass and anytime we ate vegetables or anything like that I would put it in here. And uh, this has been sitting here for most of the year and just kind of breaking down. There's lots of microorganisms in here. And uh, so what I'm going to do today is capture our grass clippings and we're going to put that in this pile too. And we'll kind of see how you can make a compost pile or a compost bin uh, at home and kind of see how it works. The rule of thumb in most composting is that you need about one third of your matter to be green organic matter such as grass and leaves. You also want to make sure that you have about two thirds of your uh, matter to be dead leaves, twigs, or dirt to get the breaking down process started. You also want to make sure that your compost remains slightly moist. You can do this through watering your compost with a hose or just if you have typical rainfall that's going to keep it moist that's always good. You also want to turn your compost at least twice a week to make sure that um, oxygen is getting into the breaking down. One problem with home composting is that oftentimes we are uh, throwing away our scrap material from our food into the composting bin. Be sure not to put in meat products because they will rot and actually bring in flies and those will produce maggots. You want to actually uh, make sure it is vegetable material and uh, keeping it turned regularly so that you get a good bacteria buildup to break it down. Make sure you keep regular tabs on how much heat is being produced in your compost bin to prevent things like fencing in your house to possibly catch fire. Um, I'm pretty cautious about this even though mine is next to the fence. finer and more broken down your substance is before you actually add it to your compost, 
the quicker it's actually going to degrade and break down. As you turn your compost, what you'll notice is you already see broken down material in your compost. And this also allows oxygen to get to the inside. Once you turn it, make sure that you're adding new material kind of throughout the layers. And then once you've kind of dispersed your layers a little bit, make sure you turn it quite regularly. Using a pitchfork helps to pick up larger material as well. You'll also notice that sometimes you'll pick up trash that won't break down. Make sure you pull that trash out and discard it. A lot of homeowners will actually mow their lawn more than once a week or at least once a week. If you want to add your grass every single week to your compost pile, you're actually going to mess up your ratio of brown items to uh, green items. So be sparingly as you add your grass. Um, if you want to have multiple piles that you have going at different times, you can always disperse your green grass through different piles of compost that you have going on. Now in the fall, you're often going to be raking up dead leaves that are already brown, or you're going to be trimming up your gardens that are out there with dead leaves and, and branches. Those are always a great thing to add to your compost because they will add to the two-thirds portion. These tomatoes are pretty ripe, but I still have a few that are still green. So I'm leaving these plants up until I get all the tomatoes uh, finished off being ripe. And then uh, once I'm finished here, I'll actually uh, cut down all these tomato plants and I will throw them, I'll break them up into pieces and I'll put them in the compost bin for them to break down over the winter. And then uh, I'll rototill up all my dirt in the spring and I will put the compost that's been made from that uh, pile back into this garden for next year and all those nutrients will be retaken up by the new plants. one-third full of green materials. So Adrian's standing in front of the green. The Then I need two volunteers to fill the rest of the compost pile with the green or the brown material. did you say you noticed? It's more moist. Okay, so why do you think it's more moist? Because the water has soaked it. Okay. And so what was the temperature yesterday? 21. Okay, so what do you, what does it look like today? At least 22. Yeah. Do you all agree with 22? 22. Yes. Okay. Kind of sunk in a little bit. Yeah, you noticed? Okay. 
16. Cartridge.